Good morning. Not much I can do these days. I don't have a lot of projects going on. A while back, in the good old days when Jewett City had good flea markets, uh, and there was a guy that sold a lot of radio stuff over there. You probably have seen this on video. I bought this a number of years back. It's a realistic port vision CRT TV analog. Takes four C batteries. There's the model number there. I have a Rube Goldberg setup. I can't find my audio video cables, so I cannot get the sound to come out of here. This sound does work. I have the proper cable for this DVD player, which my wife got me many years back. It works very well. The battery's dead in it, so I got it on the adapter charging. Um, <clears throat> but I haven't got the proper cable. This is an audio cable that I plugged into here. Okay, so I managed to get the audio, I mean the video, the video into the white plug because that just happens to be, but normally you'd have a black, oh I can't even talk this morning, normally you'd have a yellow, a red, and a white, okay, I only could find an audio cable with the eighth inch plug on it. I have the cables. I have many of them. I can't find anything and it's so frustrating. All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to play this a little bit just to give you a video because I can't give you any projects because I don't have anything going on. Jewett City is a disappointment. So I don't have anything uh, to show or repair or anything else. So here is a Just a little bit of an old show that our good friend Ray Greenwood in the old country band, 2005. The old time country band. The sound is going to be coming out of here. Not here, because I don't have the right cable to put the audio through. But as you can see, I got the video in there. So... Wait for the CD to load, okay. In Norwich, the first time I've ever been here. And uh, we got the old time country band here. We're just getting set up now here at the pavilion. And a short time from now, we'll be hopefully hopping along. All right. There we go. That's a sight. <laughs> it looks like we're getting a damn flicker on it. Because it is a CRT. Yeah, it's famous. Gonna be a, on the front page of the Norwich Bulletin, huh? <laughs> this is when Ray was mentoring Tommy. Ray was a great influence on Tommy. We don't see Ray anymore. We haven't seen him for a few years. Of course, this is a uh, pretty tinny sound coming out of these little speakers here. This is four by three. This is set for widescreen. <laughs> so it's stretched. The 
Okay, we'll stop this. Sorry for the loose connection there, the wrong kind of chord. Got your tuning, your volume, which you won't get none now on this because of the wrong chord. Okay, um, unfortunately I never can find things I'm looking for. If I had the right cable, we couldn't get the sound through here, and believe it or not, this, this little speaker here would sound a lot better than these two little tinny ones. But um, I just wanted to get something together to throw uh, a video out to you. I have another um, uh, portable TV, also a CRT uh, TV that I'm going to bring down. I'm going to get the batteries out of this and get this unhooked. I don't know if that one has a video and audio input. I doubt it, but uh, I'll show it to you anyways. Um, but before we do, you see this is the plug that's not the right one. This is simply an audio cable, not an audio and video cable. Um, so the TV takes four C batteries, which I had in the shop, and um, they test good. And the battery contacts in this were very, very clean. This TV was taken very good care of. I'm not looking to sell it, no sir. I'm keeping these. These are probably going to be collector's items. I know that analog TV is passe, sadly to say. Um, but <sighs> antenna opens fully. Is in good shape. But I want to. I'm going to hang on to it. I just wanted to show you that it has a uh, a case to it, a nice leather case that you slide the TV in and then snap it down. And like I say, a few years ago, back in when there were vendors out there that sold good stuff, and many of them. Uh, I got this at a very reasonable price. I can't remember whether I bid five or ten dollars. I didn't pay more than that. This and the other one, which I'm going to show you. Um, 
this is a CRT type. It's one of these where this uh, gun is, the tube is, CRT is pointed this way and aims at the screen and the screen is curved. See, your CRT portable TVs were always the best. The LCD ones, which I had quite a few of in the years past, even the little color sets of pocket ones, were not very good. I had three or four of them throughout the early 80s, I guess, uh, and into the early 90s. Um, but they are long gone, and um, the CRT is always the very best. On this particular set, the contrast don't seem to make a difference at all. But I'm not getting into it. Uh, these are things that I won't get into. That even this is too small. TVs are, portable TVs are very, very cramped. All right, let me show you the other one. I'll be right back. Okay, this one here is a Sony Watchman. Much smaller screen. Also a CRT type TV. I bought both of these. The one I showed you before and this one at Jewett City back a number of years back. Uh, video in. Has your controls on there and it takes looks like four Double A's. So I got to find some double A's that are good. That'll take me a few minutes. Well, you won't. It'll be a second for you, but it'll be several minutes for me, and we'll get this turned on. I don't know if this audio plug that I have here will work on this TV. It worked on the other one, but it don't mean that it'll work on this Sony. Um, yeah, this is a Sony. The other one was a Radio Shack, so the, main, the input jack may not be wired right because it's made for audio video in, not left and right channels. You only got the the, the ground and the left and right channel, but sometimes you can make the video work on those type of cables. We will find out. I'll be right back. This is the battery pack. It just slides right out of here. Again, this one was taken very good care of too. Okay, I got the battery pack in. The battery pack could go in either way. There's a little orange dot, but it doesn't tell you very much about it, and there's no polarity markings on the case at all inside. Okay. We're going to hook up the cable to this. I'll be right back. We'll see if we get anything out of it. Sorry, the cable's not the right one for this either. Boy, these connections are very bad. I wish I had the right cable. As you can see, the TV's working quite well. I forgot how to set this to normal. This is uh, widescreen here. I forgot, I thought it was down here. I don't remember how to do it now. Mine like a sieve. I haven't used this in quite a while. 
But there is a setting, and I thought it was a switch, but it's not. It must be in the menu, and I looked in the menu, and I couldn't. No, just push menu, and it just starts over. All right, so uh, that's the story there. Um, so the little TV works just fine, both of them. Um, it's sorry about the tinniness of this because I can play these on my computer and they sound great. Uh, but I just wanted to basically just show you, um, about these little TVs here that I got. And I'm keeping them, I'm not getting rid of them, I'm not making this video to show them to you, uh, to get rid of them. I just want to show you that this vintage stuff is really, really nice. And, um... Uh, Years ago, I had another one of these. I got, I traded it for something else. Um, years and years ago, um, but it, I uh, luckily I got this one here from Jewett City. It's got to be at least five years ago, four to five years ago, anyways. Okay, so that's it, and that's not a real exciting video, but um, it'll give you something to watch, I guess. About all I can do is just reminisce on stuff that I've done before and everything else. Uh, so, that's it folks. Thanks for watching.